Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm here with a video about my new wig. A lot of you probably already know of YouTuber Tony Daly. She's a natural hair sister YouTuber like myself. And I actually love Tony. I started watching Tony before I even made a YouTube channel back in 2010. And she was one of the women who inspired me to create my own YouTube channel as well as start my, my, my natural hair journey. So I mentioned to you in one of my protective style journey updates that I was going to seek out some new wigs and I reached out to Tony Daly and I asked her if she would be open enough to grace me with some of her wigs for me to use on my protective style journey and I shared that I would let all of my audience know in exchange for the wigs. So she was so gracious and she did this wig is called the gabrielle wig and you may also be familiar with youtuber gabrielle or gabe flowers and this is the wig that was created to mimic her curl pattern or her twist out pattern now all of tony wigs i believe all of them well let me just talk about this one this wig is a half wig, so it's meant to sit behind your hairline so that you can leave some of your hair out. But as you can see, there's just so much hair that it honestly doesn't really make that much sense to wear this wig as a half wig and leave any of my hair out. And regardless of the fact that it's so big, I obviously don't want to leave any of my hair out because I'm on a protective style journey. And if this is the first time you're ever hearing about it because you just found my channel, I will link some videos up here for you to watch that will explain to you what I mean by protective style journey and what I'm doing but for a very quick 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 overview in September of 2016 I started wearing wigs and I've been wearing wigs ever since my hair is out naturally very seldom in this five month time period and it's been you know I've just been protecting it with wigs in an effort to grow my hair thicker, fuller, healthier, and of course to see if my hair, how long my hair can grow. And I've been doing weekly, monthly check-ins where I share with you my growth and um, what's going on with my hair. So that's just a quick background. So um, this wig, like I said, it's a half wig. However, I'm not wearing it as a half wig because I don't want to keep any of my hair out. But I do have it back a little bit because it is really full and I did trim a little bit of the bang, but I didn't want to cut too much. So you can see here, this is how far back I'm wearing it. And even with wearing it this far back, you see where the hair is. So if I were to put it here, it would be like on my nose. And like with any half wig or quick wig, you're supposed to leave some of your hair out so that it blends a little bit better. Um, so right now it's just all wig. However, if you wanted to you know, leave some of your hair out, you could wear it more so like this, you know, with some of your hair in the front, you don't have to wear it like a bang or if you want to, you know, side part it or whatever, you could wear it like this. So it's not like all flopping in your face. But I think that this is a nice look. I don't mind this. Um, on a scale from one to 10, like how do I feel about the wig? I would say right now I'm kind of a five. Um, I don't hate the wig, but I'm not in love with the wig. And I think what I'm what I'm experiencing is the type of curls that it is is a little bit like too thin um, or too skinny. Maybe that's the word I want to use. And I think I just have to get the shape right because I trimmed the bang, like I said to you, and I've been kind of teasing it to help the curls not be so perfectly tight because obviously it kind of looks too fake and not that I care because I'm wearing a wig and y'all saw me with my big chop wig like I didn't even take the time to part that I don't do the whole um concealer you know to make it look perfectly real like I don't really care too much about that maybe I should maybe that's not a good thing but I honestly just want something that I can put on and go when I need to and so I feel like with time maybe this will just grow on me a little bit better but I feel like maybe I need to cut some of this this girth if that's the right word it just feels a little bit too full in this area so I think maybe I need to take it down a little bit I'm not sure um, but I'm not like 100% in love with it like I said but I, I don't hate it I asked my husband what he thought about it just to get his honest feedback I was like you know do you think that this wig fits me and he said he liked it he was like maybe not an everyday wig maybe like your Sunday wig or something <laughs> so so I I don't know I'll see like how I feel but I want your um 
I want your honest feedback. I want to know like what your thoughts are. What do you think about this wig on me? I'm zoomed in a little bit. Let me zoom out so you can see like the fullness because it's really full. Okay. Yeah, so let me know what you think. I don't like filming from far back here. I feel like we need to be more connected. That's why I was zoomed in, but you can see it more. Let me show you the sides and the back. And um, she's not a lace wig, so it's it's all you know tracks all throughout. It's all tracks. She's not lace. And I looked up the price on um, Tony's website, and this unit is fifty nine dollars. My it's synthetic. My color is one B, which is natural black. And as of right now, the wig is sold out on the website. So it's not available right now. But you can go to her website and they have a little link where you can get an email when it is available. So I feel like $59 is very decent. You know, it's not human hair. So I think it's decent, personally. I think it's decent. And um, check out Tony Daly's website. She has several different wigs. She sent me three of them. One is um, the Tony wig, which I feel like when I try that one on, I might actually love it a little bit more than this one. And the reason I think I might love it is because when, if you've never seen Tony wear the wig, then you've been missing out. But when you see Tony wear the wig, I saw her in person in, um, in Atlanta a few years ago at an expo and she was wearing the wig and I was stunned that she was wearing the wig because it looks so natural. So I think maybe if I try that one on and I wear that one I might be um, in love with it more because it kind of looks more like my curl pattern I don't know but I do know that that wig is gonna require a little bit of work I do know that like it's not like just put it on and go you gotta do some stuff to it so we'll see when I get there but I am notorious for wearing wigs out and figuring them out and just wearing them and wearing them and wearing them until I really get used to them and I feel very comfortable in them and I feel very confident in wigs which is something that I know a lot of people um, you know what I'll save that for another video. I'm gonna save that for another video. Let me end this video now. Check out TonyDaily.com. I'll put the link in the description box for this wig. I will see if I can get a coupon code from Tony. Um, and if I do, I will add that in the description box as well. Let me know your thoughts. I want your honest feedback on this wig. I feel like you should be able to give me honest feedback without disrespecting me and disrespecting the wig. Just talk, like just be, be respectful and be honest. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.